Hi everybody, I'm Jerry Paul and I'm Lindy Author and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about what I've been up to over the past month as well as reviewing the goals I set myself two months ago and setting goals for the coming two months. So it's the first goals video of 2020, let's see how I did, but before we do that let's jump into what I managed over December. As usual we'll be splitting it into three categories, work, health and miscellaneous. So let's get right to it. In work, I managed 20 chapters, 83 pages and 47,808 words in December and I was really pleased with that. I decided to stick to 20 chapters this month after a long month of nano because I was a little burned out. I talked about this in a video which I will link up in the cards but I think it's really important to take time to look after yourself and take time off. If you've seen the one day in my life vlog I did, you know that I don't work all day nor every day. But I do need to take things easier with the holidays and everything else. Also, my birthday is in January and I don't want to push too hard that I can't enjoy that. I have been steadily doing edits with Kim and I'm hopeful that things will be done by the deadline. I'm really enjoying my YouTube projects and I plan to do a video about them. But until then, the first one is This Is How It Ends, which is a young adult mystery slash thriller. Maggie is the main character and she lost one of her best friends six months before the book takes place. And it seems there are a bunch of secrets that someone out there wants to be laid bare. I'm super enjoying the story and exploring it all. My other work in progress is I Wish I Could Save You, which is a young adult paranormal romance. Penny is a regular psychic and she has a vision that predicts her best friend's death. And he's also a secret crush. And everyone says she can't interfere with the future. I'm loving the world that I'm creating and adoring Penny as a character. I'm also pretty sure that Penny's book is the start of a new series, which also excites me. And in health, I had me on the 13th and it went as bad as one was expected. We also did hydrotherapy, but not every week because of a few issues and the pool being closed over the holiday period. I'm really happy with how things are progressing in that regard. I'm still not managing more than 30 minutes. But that's not a bad thing. It wipes me out and I find that I am more drained the day after, but it's really helpful for me. And my sleep study showed I needed a different machine, so I'm trialling another one right now and then having another sleep study done in January, in a few days in fact, as there's some worry that I may still need something stronger. And in the miscellaneous section, I had an amazing Christmas and I'm getting ready to ring in the new year tonight. So that's a good thing. I decorated my office for this video because it's being recorded at the end of December but won't post until the second week of January and I didn't want decorations the way. I had my hair did on the 27th so it's nice and short and purple again and I'm very pleased with that. So let's review the goals I set myself for November and December. Number one, write 40 chapters, 20 of each book. Done! I managed 52 chapters, which is the highest amount ever. Number two, read 35 books. Also done. I wasn't sure if this was going to get done because I slowed down reading wise in November, but I made up for it in December and cleared 35 books total. More than that, I think. Number three, post Insta and Twitter at least once a day through November and December. Done. I managed to keep up with this and I was really happy to do so. I posted to Insta once a day and then several times on Twitter with some of the writing tags that I follow. Number four was to take one day off completely each month. I did this. I managed it with several days off in both months for either hydrotherapy, Christmas or just because I wanted a day off. Number five, do more research for ads. Not done. I just didn't have the time but it's really something that I want to do, so I'm going to move on to the next month's goals. Number six, plan cover releases for next year. Half done. I have the cover for lights on, but I'm still waiting on the first Cramming Chronicles cover. Number seven, do edits for lights on. Mostly done. I should finish the edits by the end of January, but then and then I'll be off to the line editor. Number eight start planning blogs and Friday posts for the first four months of 2020. Done. This was actually pretty easy to do. I just needed time to put all the ideas to paper. Number nine, 
finish rough book trailers for all outstanding releases also done i don't know how long it'll take for the music to come together but all the rough trailers are now with kim for her to do her magic and number 10 plan all the tube content for the first four months of 2020 also done i'm all prepared for the coming months so that's what eight and a half done i'd call that a win i'm gonna set new goals for january and february number one Write 40 chapters, 20 of each book. Number two, read 35 books. Number three, finish edits for Lights On and send to Line Editor. Number four, research ads. Number five, take one day off completely each month. Number six, plan a Cramping Chronicles cover. Number seven, do marketing plan for Lights On. Number eight, implement marketing plan for Lights On. Number 9, order cover reveal gifts. And number 10, arrange cover reveal sign up. So those are the 10 that I plan to try and get done over the coming two months. And basically, that's it. So how are you finding the first few weeks of 2020? Have they worked out for you? How are your goals going? How did you do over the past quarter or bi-monthly goals or month even if you do monthly goals? Let me know down in the comments down below. So that's all I've got time for today. So if you want to support my channel, you can com comment or subscribe. I post your videos on Thursdays. You can find me all over social media and my books are available everywhere. And don't forget to pick up Dying Thoughts 8th Ending or Lights Out, all the links of which are listed below. Thanks for watching and remember to keep writing. Bye.